Hey everybody, Will Fix here. Got another video for you today. First, we'll do a decent wallet commercial, review our three coins, and get right to it. Today, we're going to talk about and show the timeline for the SEC appeal and the X, uh, on the XRP case and give you an exact timeline and kind of filter out some of the garbage. There's some of the people talking about that... Uh, that they are appealing if XRP is a security and appealing this f aspect and that aspect. We're going to straighten all that out in this video and you'll feel smarter when we get done. So hang in there. Here we go. You guys know I love the Decent Wallet. I use the Decent Wallet. I've owned several other wallets, over five, uh, but I've had by far is the best wallet. Um, did you know once you get your seed phrase, that's your seed phrase forever. If you've got your device smashed, you can buy another one. As soon as you punch in your seed phrase, bam, you're good again. A lot of people buy two. I'm on my page right here. Here's where two are. It's $129 in savings. These would be $318 but they made me an affiliate. We have sold tons of these. People keep buying these on a regular basis. If you don't own your own keys, you really don't own your own crypto. Get it off of the exchanges. Go ahead and pick you up a wallet. You'll love the tools that are inside this wallet and how it connects to your cell phone and gives you a large screen and keeps up with your pricing. You can stick XDC straight in there, HBAR straight in there. No weird file creations. You'll really love it. Go ahead and pick you one up. Use the link that's popping up right here or go to the link in the description. I appreciate it. Here's XRP on the seven day chart, but it's really held up pretty good. 52 and a half cents. 68 dollars and 27 cents is what quant's looking like right now. Not not as bad as it could be, but uh, everything's in a sell off state. Let's look at crypto trading fund. And again, the seven day chart looks like it's at right at 80 cents and a little bit of another penny. Not looking too bad. Let's look a little further into crypto trading fund. They've really been coming out with a lot of good news lately. We're excited to announce that your CTF rewards token will be listed on L Bank Exchange. This is an exciting new development, they say. Listing date October the 5th at 11.59 p.m. So a lot of positive news and you know they recently got listed on MEXC. We don't have access to that but uh, they're already listed on there. And there's a, there's a lot of bullish news, really, about this coin. You can go to ctftoken.com, and you can check out a lot of things. You can see they're on MEXC, SushiSwap, QuickSwap, uh, I don't know, Flows, Sologenic. They got the XRP L version and on X Magnet, and then they got, you know, other things coming. This reward token's really starting to take off. I believe it's worth getting into. Go ahead and check them out. I think it's worth you at least checking out. Don't go solely by what you've heard about CTF token, especially when a lot of it's not even true. And they're talking about doing a bridge between the uh, Polygon network and the XRP network, making it one price. Right now, what I trade in and own is on the Polygon network. Anyway, it's worth checking out. So there you have it. Let's move on. Now we're going to look at Jeremy Hogan's post and a post by Fred Rispoli to get, uh, these are two attorneys, to get a, a better uh, view of what's happening and going to happen and how the future timeline will look on the SEC versus XRP case and some of the particulars to straighten out. There's a lot of information going on out, out there, and I thought I would see if I could find what's really happening and then get a picture of that. So let's go ahead. Here's Jeremy Hogan's post. Um, initial thoughts on the SEC appeal. He says, big mistake by the SEC. It will appeal the programmatic sales ruling, the ruling, and if it wins, it will get more money from Ripple and have protected no one. Ripple will raise its blue sky law issue, and if it wins, the SEC's ability to regulate entire crypto space is essentially destroyed. Not a good calculation of risk by the SEC. It would make a poor stock trader. So, yeah, he's saying 
the XRP wins against them, it pretty much crushes the whole idea of the SEC. This is, uh, you know, what they were doing. This is an appeal by right, not like when the SEC tried to appeal before. The trial judge can't reject the appeal. I was wrong by this because this is a final. Uh, this was a final decision, not an ongoing uh, issue. But the um, SEC is very likely to lose both statistically and based on the fact heavy way the judge wrote her opinion. Even if the FSEC were to win on appeal, it is very, very likely just a matter of money. Nothing would change as to XRP and its use by Ripple. In a couple of weeks, we'll know what issues the SEC is appealing, and then it must file its first brief by mid-December. It will not and cannot be appealing that XRP is not a security. Importantly, watch for whatever the SEC is appealing the injunction. Watch for whether the SEC is appealing the injunction. A ruling from the appellate court will not happen, won't happen until late 2025, early 2026. I posted it would take until the summer of 2025 a couple of months ago. I was wrong about that. Sorry. I refuse to believe that Attorney Gruel announcing his leaving the SEC the same day the appeal is filed is just by chance. But, but I'm kooky like that. The only hope for this all being over soon is if there's a new leadership at the is if there's a new leadership at the SEC. If Trump becomes president again, I will humbly accept the role of director of enforcement and refocus the agency on protecting you from scams, frauds, and thieves. So there you have it. What is not on the table is if XRP is a security or not. That is a settled issue. That is not going to change. This is literally, we don't have the particulars, but it, but it pretty much is narrowly focused on what they're going to pay. So now it's just the bill that they're going to pay and has nothing to do with anything. We're still really waiting on clarity because the banks aren't going to care how much they're going to have to pay. They're, they're just wanting some clarity. So clarity, uh, legal clarity, and is what we're, regulatory clarity is what we're really looking for. Now let's, let's look and see what uh, Rispoli is saying. For the XRP holders, here is the SEC versus Ripple appellate timeline. So here's our timeline. SEC brief likely due December the 2nd, 2024. SEC likely to seek permissible 30-day extension. So will be due shortly after 1-1 of 2025. Ripple will cross appeal its opening brief will be due around the same time. The opposition briefs will be due around 2-2-2025. Ripple will likely take its extension, taking that to 3-2-25. Reply briefs will be due the end of March 2025. An oral argument will be scheduled for some time September-October of 2025. A ruling will be handed down from the second uh, circuit in January 2026 at the earliest, likely March or April, though, of 2026. So there you have the timeline. So is that disappointing? Well, not really. I think everything's going to continue because what we're looking for is regulatory clarity, which Trump, if he wins, has promised within the first 100 days. And how much they're going to pay is really not an issue because it's not an issue of if they're going to exist or have permission. They already have permission to exist. This isn't about them existing and having permission to move forward. This is only about how much they're going to pay. That is the strongest likelihood because there's only other, the other issues don't even matter because they cannot come at them about if XRP is a security or not. That is a settled issue. That issue is over. So there you have it. Hey, 
If you like this kind of content, please do like and subscribe. I hope this cleared up some information for you. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you next video.